Hello, everybody. My name is Otis, and we are here at the Purple Museum of Natural History. We're here to check out their new reptiles and amphibians exhibit. It is a mysterious and deadly world. Wait, deadly? No one said anything about being deadly. Uh, I think I need to reconsider this. Hello, everybody, and we are here with my good friend Brady, and Brady's going to tell us all about these amazing creatures, uh, just like this one we have here, the amazing tree boa. Actually, this is an Amazon tree boa. Amazon tree boa? Mm -hmm. Well, I was going to say, uh, I was wondering what was so amazing about a snake you can't see. Well, that's part of what it does to protect itself and to get its prey. Really? Yeah. Like, uh, what kind of prey does this thing eat? Uh, frogs and bats and wow, bats. Here they, mat, mice mm, or rats. Mice? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, that's nuts. So they like hide in the shadows, and then when they come by, they strike. Or what, what do they yeah. do? Yeah. Well, they like to nest in the wise of trees, and that protects them. And they hide there, so predators can't find them, and then their prey can't see them either. Oh, wow. Yeah, I used to live in a tree, but uh, I never had any problems with any predators getting at me. Do we have any other creatures that we can talk about? Oh, we have a lot of them. All right, let's go take a look. Okay, All right. let's go. Well, hey there, Brandy. Well, uh, who do we have here? Because this guy looks awfully cute and uh, a little dangerous. Well, this is King Leo. What? He's a bearded dragon. Wait, he's, he's a king? Like, like of a kingdom? No, that's just his and did you say dragon? Because I love dragons. Yep, he's a bearded dragon. Tell me about this guy. So the reason they call him a bearded dragon is when they feel threatened or scared, they can puff up their chin and it looks like a spiky beard. Whoa, like like a, like, uh, like my beard kind of? Yeah, kind of like that. All right then. And he has spikes all over his body and that keeps predators at bay. They think he's a little scary. Oh, now, really? Now he's probably as big as a bearded dragon will get. So as far as lizards go, bearded dragons are kind of small. Really? Yep. Well, I'd like to take them home. Well, bearded dragons actually make pretty good pets. Some people even take them for walks on a leash. Really? Yep. So you're telling me that I could go get one of these guys and take them for a walk like I do the dog? Yep, you could. Oh man, I guess I have to get on there. So uh, are there any other reptiles or amphibians out there that make great pets? Well, there are some. Um, those that eat meat aren't as good a pets because they smell more. Oh, but ones like I this see. one that's more salad, herbivore, oh. and insectivore, they don't smell as much. They're oh. a little bit better. Well, do you think that you could show me more? Sure, we could do that. Awesome. Can I get this guy a little pet before we go? Sure. Yeah. He likes to be petted. See, his spikes don't even hurt, guys. No. All right, let's go check out some more. Thank you. Okay. All right, here we are again with another fascinating creature. Um, hey, Brandy, uh, what is this uh, sausage-looking thing here in the uh, crate there? This is a blood python. A blood python? Mm -hmm. That is a terrifying name. Yes, Please, it is. Tell me more about this magnificent creature. Well, blood pythons are actually named after the color that they usually are, not because they draw blood. Oh, well, that's good, that's good. All right, Would let's take Would you like me to take him wait, out? Wait, wait, you're taking him out? I am. Oh no. 